All right, guys, welcome to Soka Warrior Radio. We have a very special guest on the phone. We are plugged into Stiffy Star Quality. Good evening, sir. Yo, yo, what's up? Yes, man, fantastic. Stiffy is on the line, and we're here to get Toronto ready for your performance this Saturday inside Twilight. So let's kick things off one time. Uh, you made several contributions to this past crop over, as well as previous crop overs before. And your hits have always yeah. been consistent. So I want to big you up on that. This year, the big one seems to be the maintenance man. So I want you to tell us a little yeah. bit about that track. Let us know what inspired you, how the response was received, etc. Well, um, the tune, the, the, the tune, it was written like a whole year before we actually released it. Wow. And, and we took a lot of time to fine tune, to fine tune the chorus and everything that so that it could be, it could be uh, re- memorable, so that people could, you know, keep the tune and that kind of stuff. And then the lyrics then of it, then we actually tweak them to make sure that it stayed in the theme of maintenance and maintenance in the whole. So it was a, it was a, a, a big project to me. So that was my most worked on tune for Pop Over 2015. Excellent. The, the other tunes, the, the other tunes as well, is that received as well. But the maintenance man, that was that was the thing that we was pushing. So it's full maintenance, full work, full everything. Like it all. <laughs> Excellent, yeah, man. That's a great look. And you know how much people are telling me they're going to the Home Depot store by us to pick up maintenance suits and fertilizer. <laughs> Somebody said they wanted to bring Correct. fertilizer in the fet, huh? Sorry. <laughs> Somebody had said they wanted to bring fertilizer in the fet. In the fet. In they the... gonna bring all the tools. You should see. You should see everybody here for the Halloween party. Everybody was dressed up in the here. <laughs> everybody had a a walker, a old a old uh a or saw, anything, oh, anything gosh. to do with yarn, old watering cans, anything <laughs> like that. Everybody just rolled it. Incredible. Was, it was a whole. No, it was a whole phenomenon for me. Wicked. Yeah. yeah, that's a great look. Trust me, when people take to the song like that, it's an amazing look for an artist, especially. Um, yeah. Of course, all your other songs, as you said, did make an impact on Toronto and, well, the yeah. world in, in general. Where are some other places your music has touched that you've noticed maybe out of um, the ordinary? As far as, far as London, wow. all through the Caribbean, um, Trinidad, St. Lucia, Bahamas, Look at that. Uh, St. Vincent. Yes. And, and, and Trinidad is the mecca for soccer. So you understand, can actually break through in that market because I, obviously <laughs> there's a kind of a language barrier. Yeah. So it, it, to break through in that market is really, it really showed me that you're going places with brand of star quality. So exactly. So that is, was a that was a good a it, good look for me. So then it was in New York. So it's New York, Miami. So all of the carnivals, I'm seeing videos, I'm getting. I'm getting text messages, I'm seeing everything just, and the music is playing, the DJs are playing it, so that means they're loving it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just for me, you know, to actually get there to push it further, actually for them to see the fear behind the star quality brand. It's, it's a great look, and no matter where I play that song in Toronto, if you see the crowd, I'll take a video. No, well, mm-hmm. you'll be there Saturday, so you'll see firsthand what Toronto No, no, wants. don't worry. Saturday we can we can we can do it live. Oh yeah. We can do it live. Oh, for yeah. everybody that prepared to come out on Saturday night, get yourself ready for action. Cause oh, it's gonna be like a movie. Cause yeah. I ain't I ain't making a sport. I come in to plug it all. You hear that ladies? That's right, Stiffy is coming. Um so we're getting ready yeah. to wrap this up just now. As you mentioned, Trinidad Carnival is coming. With the help of social yeah, media, thank God for social media, I saw that you were there. Um, you were yeah. there within the past couple weeks, correct? Yeah. So do you I, have? I went to do a pro more one. So we went and we went right. to release the songs in the radio stations and everything. Right. And that was good. That was real good. Right, and that's what I was about to ask. So, do you have any new material coming for Trinidad, or you're pioneering, you're pushing for your music campaigning to get squat maintenance man in Trinidad's rotation? Um, you're gonna run with the tunes that we have now. We're gonna run with them, but. There are some producers that have some songs that they want to send across beats. So as well, I'm there. If they, if they send across anything like a mash, uh, that, that standard behavior. Beautiful networking, so, linking, it's always a good look. But I really, I really want to release something for Trinidad Carnival. So even if I release it here, if I produce it here, then when I get there, then we will release it otherwise. But the songs are really, I did like six songs this year. So Jeez. 
all of the sounds it may be a relatively new to people still so I don't really have to because you know you're not getting in, um, accustomed to the speaking and the sound right. so there's a lot of songs so it's not only one or two well, fantastic. You're giving them a body of work. It's a, it's a great look. You're doing a great job with the soca, yeah. and we are pleased to have you this Saturday. Uh, just to wrap things up, yeah. one last question. I like to throw this at artists sometimes. We have what we call the squat competition, where you, Stiffy, yeah. are going to award a female. I'll just say a female because I know you're not giving no man the prize. But you're going to award sure. a female $500 yeah. worth of a shopping spree for the best squat. Now the question I have for you, <laughs> in all the time you've been doing this, all the stages you've touched, what's the craziest thing that you've experienced on a stage? Uh, <laughs> um, so that would be two ladies. Two ladies. It's two instances. One was, one was two ladies and the ladies were competing to see who could who could flick and, and land the best. Oh, wow. So that was, and these, these were small women, these were like, these were women with 300 pounds and up, these were big women. <laughs> so these women just took, these women just took control of the stage, put the, the sling girls off the stage, and uh, held their own show with me. Put me to lay down and jump on me, they do, they do a number with me. <laughs> that, was, that was one of the craziest. Oh my God. That was, that was one of the craziest. So you needed some serious maintenance after that one. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <Jesus. laughs> <that's action. laughs> All right, man. Well, thank you for taking the time for us. We're definitely going to see you Saturday. No problem, Just let Toronto know what's going on this Saturday as we close out. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Want to say shout out to everybody coming out on Saturday night. Everybody know hearing about it and getting those last minute tickets. Get yourself ready, Canada, because 50 star quality is coming. And we are plugged in to all to heavy duty maintenance service, man. Coming. Yes, man. Thank you so much for taking the time. There you have it, guys. Stiffy is coming this Saturday. We will see you, sir. Take care. Have a safe flight. You too, brother. Yeah, man.